So like two and a half years ago, I'm searching the internet for some respondables, tips, some videos, something. And no offense to anybody who was around back then making videos, but it all sucked bad. Really bad. And so I figured out how to record my screen and I threw up this sniper montage. This is back when like level 30 was the max level. And I threw some music in the background. And that's how my channel went. I did like a couple videos over a couple months and threw this music in the background. And then I started doing voiceover, but I would continue to do music in the background. Leave a comment right now before I give the answer. What was the artist of the songs I did? For those of you who don't know, the artist was a group, an electronic group known as Coyote Kisses. And Coyote Kisses was really underground. Like, nobody's heard of this group. If you've heard of it, it's probably through me. And these guys, they're just two dudes in college. They're just making music on the side. I really love their stuff. Why am I talking about Coyote Kisses? Because today we are reviewing the SMG, the submachine gun, the Howler, which is after the Coyote Kisses, Howler. Maybe that's a stretch, but I'm going with it because I wanted to tell the Coyote Kisses story. So, this is week four in the winter event. This is the final prize, the creme de la creme, the final prize of all the weeks. You guys have been grinding it out, and this is what we get. We get the SMG Howler. It looks really cool. I like the way it looks. It is just like the Stig. It reminds me of the Stig, except it's way worse than the Stig. Uh, when I say it's just like the Stig, it just feels like the Stig. The range is really small. You got to hit guys way close. The fire rate is faster than the Stig. It has a smaller clip, 36 rounds in the clip. I think the Stig's got 40 something, 46 rounds, I think. But really, this weapon, you got to be close to guys or you're going to get wrecked. It does not have long range. If you try to shoot guys long range, you're either not even going to be able to hit them or you're going to do hardly any damage at all. So it is a close range weapon, in my opinion, and I think that's where it's going to be suited best. With this weapon, you're going to get wrecked by all the overpowered stuff. This is not an overpowered weapon. It's very balanced, so you got to make sure you strafe. That's the only way you're going to stand a chance. Versus all you aristocrat and battle ram noobs who think you're pro, but you suck. I'm calling all you out. If that's the only weapon you use, get a life. Now, this event was really hard, man. I, like, I raged. Like, I seriously raged on this event trying to beat this thing. It is hard because everybody is tryharding, and it's just frustrating. But this is the prize. I think a lot of you already have the weapon. You can decide after watching this video if the event is worth your time. If you're stuck, I don't know. If you already have the Stig, I would just stick with the Stig. If you have the Stig, you don't really need this thing. Um, but the weapon, like I said, it, it is a balanced weapon. It's a good weapon. It's, a, it's an all-around balanced weapon. So all we need now is we need to nerf a few weapons out there, which I don't want to go through the list. And this game would be completely balanced. So that's going to be my review, guys. If you're here for the review and the voiceover, if you just want to watch the gameplay, keep watching. But I just got to go on a complete tangent right now. Um, I put a video up last week, and it's now been privated. You guys can't see it, and I'm not going to make it public again. But it got uh, 14,000 views in less than 24 hours. And it was about how my channel almost got shut down. And I was really pissed. And I called out a few companies um, in the video. I was actually very nice to Digital Legends. Um, Digital Legends is frustrated with me right now, and they thought I overreacted, and I just want to respond to that. But for those of you who don't know what happened, um, here's the long story, really, really short. Digital Legends has hired a company out of Barcelona, Spain, as Red Points. Red Points has been commissioned to take down videos and channels that show how to hack respondables, also websites that show how to hack respondables, which I am perfectly okay with. Like, guys, you can't show how to hack, that's illegal. And yes, if you show hacked videos, your videos will be taken down. Here's the problem. Red Points was taking down multiple videos that don't show hacks. They're not even watching the videos they're taking down. Um, very poor company, in my opinion. In fact, if I was running Digital Legends, I would fire this company. I would not partner with this company. They would not get a dime because I could have done a way better job. Even though I don't speak a lot of languages, you can tell what is a hacking video. I mean, literally, watch the first 10 seconds of the video. You're going to know if it's showing a hack or not. Anyways... So I had multiple copyright strikes because they had striked a couple videos on my channel and taken them down and one more on my channel would have been deleted permanently. And I don't apologize for the way I acted. I did not say anything bad about Digital Legends, but I did say stuff bad about Red Points and I stand by those comments. Red Points requested I remove everything. They were very pissed at me because I lamb blasted these guys. They came into the office Monday and all they saw was a bunch of negative posts all over the place with hundreds of likes, retweets, everything. Like, I lamb blast these guys and I stand by that. They're not, they're not a good company. Digital Legends is a good company. Um, I did not say anything bad in the video about Digital Legends, but they're frustrated with me. And that's understandable. 
I, you can see where I'm coming from. I was backed into a corner. I had nowhere to go. I'm about to lose my channel because some companies putting fraudulent claims on my videos. And I reacted the only way I knew how, by making a lot of noise so it would get noticed, so the problem could get fixed, which it was. And I'm happy it's fixed. Glad to be back, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video.